Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be here with you tonight. So, hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. So, this is the class of today, and of course, there below you will find the question for today. So, of course, as usual, we're going to check the attendance. So, let's see. There are just a few by now, but anyways, we need to move on. So, okay, Ada, Susana, Cáceres, Mendoza, Ana, Claudia, González, Velázquez, Dani, José, García, Martínez, Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Good. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present teacher. 
Good. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good, perfect. And Danny, very good. Okay. And then just check here. Okay, so we are going to start the class. We are going to start with a little video. This is a small one. So everybody, please. Uh, to Francisco, okay, very good, got you here. Let me just change that. Okay. Okay, so we're going to check about the video and then discuss about it. So here we go. People have different perspectives on diversity. Some people think it's all about race and gender. Some people think it's about um, <laughs> different ethnicity or like sexual orientation. Actually, it includes all that. I think it's really appreciating people's differences. Understanding that we all come with different social biases, different ways we think of how to do things. For me to enjoy my job, I need to be able to show who I truly am. And so if I can bring my whole self to work, then I'm going to be a very productive team member. You know, people talk about it being a competitive advantage. That, that makes sense, but it's also the right thing to do. Diversity is a reality and inclusion is a choice. So I think we obviously live in a really diverse world and it's, that's why it's so important to really understand that and, and appreciate it. So when you talk about decision making and who's actually in the room making decisions, you're getting as many diverse opinions as possible. I think it's so important to see people who look like you at the top because that, you know, that could be you one day. I've been very fortunate in terms of picking schools and employers that kind of that understand the importance of not only diversity but also inclusion. The inclusion component is how do you leverage those dimensions of difference to bring forth the business results you want, right? So it's taking the box of 96, cray 96 crayons and making the picture. You can definitely learn the skills and I would say that you would have to have those skills in order to be successful in the business environment these days. It's not just the, the business skills, the finance skills. I would love to be in a leadership position where I can really influence um, globally leaders and, and peers and just everyone uh, really at the company so crossing my fingers <laughs> Okay, what did you get from this one? Uh, I think, teacher, uh, I really love one of the things that uh, one of the girls said that um, diversity is a reality and being inclusive is a choice. Very agree with that, uh, but I, I think that's a plus that, um, that, that it's very important for the companies or, or I think that um, uh, nowadays uh, we can see that the a lot of a lot of companies um, are in include include yeah including. Uh, including the this this topic about being uh, inclusive uh, because uh, one of the guys said to that, that could be um oh my god i forgot the word that he said that a competitive skills or something like that uh, so uh, the companies uh, maybe can see this um, this thing about being inclusive like an advantage uh, to be better okay very good perfect so yes actually if you include, you try to include everybody, uh, it doesn't matter the ethnicity, the race, uh, any other thing. Of course, you will have some different points of view and some different income. So you know, 
your company is, is better. So that is true. And it's true. I mean, uh, we are kind of lucky because nowadays it's kind of common that companies are trying to be more inclusive. In the past was kind of difficult. So we are going to discuss about that today. Any other comments about this? Arthur say that uh, it's not about only uh, skills, like every skill, like we know, right? Financial or communicate, I don't know. It is about uh, being inclusive, being, uh, being able to, to, I don't know, be told something that told me. Uh, all the people, no, uh, no matter uh, where they came from, or even even though uh, <laughs> the the uh, the polarization, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you, Danny. So uh, that is it. I mean. Everybody's important and everybody can provide some insight to the company. It doesn't matter where you come from. Very good. And the good thing about the video is also that different kind of people, they were speaking about that. Any other comment about that? Okay, so we are going to start with the book. And, uh, well, we were checking about verse followed by gerunds. Okay, remember that we are going to continue throughout the first unit about this topic. So it's not only the one that we checked the last Monday. So it says cultural diversity in the workplace, how to use verse followed by gerunds. Let's see. Um, Giselle, could you please help reading the chart? Yes, teacher. Uh, some verbs? Uh, yeah, please. Some verbs take another verb as a complement. There is a group of verbs that only takes gerunds, verb plus ing. Sorry. I have to move the, okay. the screen. Uh, by genre, verb plus ing as complements. Some of the most common <laughs> verbs followed by gerunds include the following. Appreciate, avoid, consider, discuss, enjoy, keep, mind, mention, quit, and suggest. I continue? Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, okay. A, I appreciate having the company work towards a multicultural corporate environment. B, manager park avoids making comments that may sound respectful. C, the company considered hiring ex experts to enhance the relationships between employees. D, we enjoy working with people from different cultural backgrounds. E, people at the office keep talking about the new employee from Japan. They are trying to learn his language. And F, a true leader doesn't mind training people on cultural acceptance. Perfect, very good. So as you remember, we were discussing before that with some verbs, if you are going to use another verb after that, it's not possible to use that like in an infinitive form. To go, to be, instead of that one, we are going to use the gerunds that are the verbs that also have ing at the end as compliments. Here there is a little list, I guess we can, we checked those before. Actually, we're going to check some other verse, uh, maybe tomorrow or Friday. But um, these are like examples on this one. So remember that whenever you have these verbs, the next verb, it has to be with ing. So appreciate having, avoid making, consider hiring, enjoy working, keep talking, and mind training. 
those are very important. And also remember that those verbs can be in any tense. I mean, the first verb, the main verb, can be in any tense. It can be in simple present, in present continuous, in present perfect, whatsoever. So do you have any questions before we move on? No, teacher. No, teacher. OK. So let's do the exercise six. It says order the words to make sentences. Use the correct form of the underlined verb. And of course, we are going to compare. I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to do the exercises. You can write them down because sometimes it's a little bit better if you write them down. Uh, or if you want to do it live, of course, it would be good. So I will give you a few minutes for you to do the exercise, okay?
Okay, have you finished? Almost teacher, just a few minutes, please. Perfect. Let's wait a little bit more. Okay, are you ready? So let's give it a shot. Who wants to tell the number one to check who it's going to be? Mm, it will be me, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Go ahead. I think that number one is he considered make his presentation about a communication about diversity and communication in the workplace. I don't right. change the verb. Uh, well, actually, yeah, there's going to be, let me see. Or oh, the change, the verb change in this yeah. sentence? Yeah, it's going to be, he considers making. Making, uh -huh. making. Oh, okay. Making diversity and communication in the workplace. Yeah, making uh -huh. his presentation. Uh -huh. Presentation about diversity and communication in the workplace. Okay. Very good. So that is going to be number one. Very good. Number two, who wants to tell? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, they suggest creating a team that ensure all the diversity issues are handled in the appropriate manner. Very good. They suggest creating. Nice. That is it. Number three. Who wants to share number three? Hey, teacher. Perfect. Go ahead. Employees enjoy working with an extensive range of people who have cultural differences. Very good, perfect. So 
employees enjoy working. Very nice. Number four, how is going to be number four? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. So the boss, sorry, the boss, uh, keep insisting we have communication issues with the, with the new employees. Very good. That is it. So the boss kept insisting. Very nice. Number five, who wants to share number five? Okay. She didn't mind participating in a long thing from abroad. Very good. She didn't mind participating. So, and the last one, number six, who wants to share number six? Last one. Anybody? Hi, teacher. Good okay. evening. Good evening. Could, could I uh, see the example, please? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be something like this. I appreciate having the company work. It's like the grammar that we were checking the first day. That is like a verb that is followed by a gerund. Okay, okay. Uh, the manager discussed preparing, preparing new activities to strengthen, the, to strengthen, strengthen, strengthen. strengthen teamwork. Very it's good. Okay. That is fine, okay. nice. So that is it, the manager discussed preparing new activities to strengthen teamwork. Perfect, you see that it's not that difficult, right? Of course, we're going to check some other things in, uh, not today, but later on. Very okay. good. Thank so you. Any questions about this grammar? Any words? It's kind of easy, right? When you see the whole thing. Perfect, so let's move on. So uh, the topic of today says discuss strategy concerning cultural diversity. And it says the key community, the key to community is the acceptance. In fact, the celebration of our individual and cultural differences. It is also the key to world peace. So this is something that is kind of true. So we're going to start checking about some things. For example, what is a cultural stereotype? What do you believe is that? Maybe a, a behavior or, or a, yeah, maybe it could be a behavior from, or from, uh, um, from a well, I say minority or for an ethnic group that is general, generalized uh, for all for all the people in in, in this group. Um, for example, uh, um, all the Latins are workers, are good workers. Okay, maybe. Very good. So something like that uh, is a stereotype. Uh, somebody wants to go to say something else. Yeah, I was uh, thinking same him because uh, I think that when you have a, a specific idea when some um, stereotypes maybe or some specific attributes in some uh, groups or some country, you always are uh, thinking very quickly, uh, try to uh, identify uh, if 
that crop is that uh, you was thinking. I mean, uh, for example, when you are uh, visit a public place and you are uh, around a lot of people, then you uh, see some Chinese person and you always thinking, oh, there is a Chinese person, I don't know, I think. But maybe they are not uh, Chinese. Cuando son chinos? No, sí, ¿cómo sería? Yeah, they are they like are in, Yeah, but uh, they have some, um, I don't know, maybe weird eyes. <laughs> and you <laughs> always uh, associate. Quickly. Yeah, associate. And maybe you have the idea, but you are not the correct answer. So it, I think that the, that the, the problem with create a stereotype with some crops. Very good, perfect. So that is it. Sometimes what happens is that because you see that somebody is a part of a culture, you believe that that person has these characteristics. They can do or they cannot do some things. Right, so that is like a stereotype. For example, as you say, if we see something that is from China or Japan, maybe we believe that they they can do karate, right, or anything like that, and maybe not. Okay, so that is a stereotype that you believe because of the culture that person must be like this. And uh, when you uh, are maybe when you are talking about with. Um, someone about that maybe you if you say something about this maybe you can offend the other person because they are so jealous or i don't know i imagine because uh, when i was uh, talking with uh, another uh, co-workers in the, in the company in the previous company i remember that she was talking about that she was a uh, Indian, India, but uh, she was a uh, mix. I don't know how you say that. Era como mestiza, but yeah. she was offended when someone is uh, give a. Um, I don't know. Si sería como una marca or or stereotype. Someone uh, was talking about the culture, different culture, and say something of fans. So I imagine that it's in general when they uh, have a specific uh, characteristic and you are talking about that is maybe a little respect. Very good. So that is true. I mean, sometimes what happens is that we label people, right? Mm -hmm. We believe that, I, I don't know. And that happens and that happens everywhere, right? I mean, um, if you as a Latin American, you go to a, a European country, they look at you and they know that you are from Latin America. Maybe not everybody is going to label you, but yes, there are some people that they don't like you. I mean, when they they see you in those countries, they believe that they are there, that you are there looking for a job and getting some, some things and some people don't like that. But maybe you're not, I mean, maybe you're just a tourist. I mean, it doesn't mean that because you are a Latin American and you are in Europe, you are looking for a job or something like that. Mm -hmm. So that is a stereotype. And uh, why do you believe that people label other people? Why do you believe that happens? I don't know, maybe uh, because uh, sometimes some people create, um, imagine that uh, he or, or she are uh, menos, can I say lower than uh, the other? Okay, yeah, less. Less, yeah, and I think that that is a point, but it's not, not all. Maybe, um, I don't know, when uh, you are talking about some specific cultures, some people try to um, 
try to uh, hide maybe some bad uh, act, acts or or specific uh, actions in in the in his culture and show the bad in other culture sometimes I guess. And the other hand, I think that uh, when you admit that you have a good, um, like a good um, reference about the culture, maybe you can show that. You can talk about the other cultures and and you talk about the other person and, and something like that, I guess. But in general, uh, well, in my case, when I mention some interesting topic about that, I try to uh, show some a specific uh, interesting point for me and I try to um, share my point my positive point of view without the uh, offense another okay very good perfect thank you yeah I mean it's sometimes it's difficult to to approach into this one but uh, as, as I was telling you sometimes there are some stereotypes I mean uh, in the world, for example, uh, almost everybody believes that Latin America will go to other countries just to look for another job. So that is a stereotype. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, why do they believe that one? Where those ideas come from? Why do you think that happens? Well, I imagine that uh, it's because they, they, they in general, the the person working on that because if he, for example when i was a uh, visiting visited the first time um united states i remember when i was in the uh, migration migration department migration yeah they was talking about everything i don't remember all the question but it was very um Molesto, mad for me. Ah, you were, yeah, disturbed. Yeah, because uh -huh. I, I think that they was thinking that I I was here because I want I want work on that. So I want I want to work in the United States, but I just stay there for three or four day days. I guess I don't remember because I was. In that time, I was working in Avianca, so I didn't have a lot of time to to visit another country because uh, I have I had a lot of work, so I my vacation was very short, and if I took some days, maybe it was three or four. Uh, the thing is that when I was the, my first time in the United States, they was thinking that it was, sorry, was a rare, rare they were thinking. Weird, uh -huh. weird, that I was traveling for a short time, very short time, because you know, the cost of the, of the ticket is expensive, but in my case, it was cheaper than the other person. So that's why maybe I choose to travel to United States for a couple of days. But I remember that that question, I was think, I was um, unsure around 30 minutes. And the same uh, when I was uh, traveling with my son to United States because uh, they was sad because my, my grandparents uh, was here. So uh, the quest, the, the thing in that moment was that when I was in the migration, they think that my son and me, eh, ¿cómo sería? que mi hijo y yo nos íbamos a ir de aquí. Yeah, that you <laughs> were migrating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so Same, it yeah. was a, a big problem. And I imagine that that situation uh, show because uh, another person working in that way. So that's why 
other person has that problem. So it's a problem because, uh, well, in, in my case, I don't think uh, travel for work or ¿Qué es eso? Migra ¿Inmigrar sería? Mi migrate, so to stay Migrate. in that country. Uh -huh. uh, but I think that in general, a lot of people do that and that's why we have a label. Very good. So you say something important. A lot of people, they actually do that one. So it's a label mm -hmm. because maybe not everybody but a lot of people, a lot of Latin American, they go to other mm -hmm. country, they look for a for a uh, passport and a visa, and they say, I'm going to visit the country, but then they stay, right? They mm -hmm. get a job, and then the other the other people they say, Oh, this is not good. I mean, you say that you were visiting, but now you're staying, so that is not good. So that is one of the reasons why. Sometimes there are some stereotypes because yes, actually, there are some people that they did something, but maybe I mean mm -hmm. it's not for everybody, right? Yeah, it's for me it's a problem because it, well I don't uh, travel very uh, in a short time, but uh, the question the, the thing is this that when you are uh, decide travel another uh, to another country. Maybe you try to spend time and whatever. But when you have some problems like that, it's very uh, difficult because, well, in my case, I tried to explain to my son what was the problem. Because in that, in that uh, situation, I remember that I, my son was five years, maybe. And he was uh, crying in front of the official and it was a big problem for me because uh, a couple of minutes then i was with another office uh, no oficiales official, official one, officials around me so i was really really um, preocupada worried worried yeah and well he was talking about uh, the situation she was trying to talk with my son because he was crying a lot and i'm i'm worried yeah so the, the thing is that maybe 10 minutes after that uh, he was talking uh, lower than the past and try to explain that we uh, we will travel for vacation and he was uh, sad because my parents uh, live here and we we will uh, far around one week and that's it but in that situation for me was very uh, stressful yeah. because yeah. you know when you are with a uh, a big problem maybe you can lose your your visa yeah and yeah but i i try to don't uh, thinking about that because uh, i think that they just uh, working and he was trying to uh, stop the migration maybe i don't know but in general it was very uh, very uh, stressful and I okay. imagine that they act or do something like that because uh, they have a lot of situations similar yeah that is true I mean mm -hmm. that is that is the, where the stereotype comes right because of the experience of uh, the problem is this maybe two or three people did that one and then uh, the officials, they believe that everybody's doing the same thing. So yeah. that is a stereotype. When one or two people have an experience and then everybody believes that it's going to be the same for yeah. the rest. Uh, another thing that may be caused an impact is uh, the media, right? I mean, for example, if you watch the movies, whenever Mexico appears or Central yeah. American countries, I mean, they, they show like 
the countryside, right? Trees and uh, I mean, it, it, they show that these countries are very, very back in the day. So, and that is not true. There are cities, we have internet. Some people, I mean, I have spoken with people from other countries that they say, do you have internet there in El Salvador? Really? <laughs> okay. I mean, it's like, my friend, yeah. I mean, what you see in the movies, I mean, yes, there are. There are people outside in the countryside with trees and horses and cows. Mm -hmm. That exists. I mean, it's true. But there are cities and we have internet and we we know about music and things like that. So that yes. is a stereotype, right? Yes, it's it's a little uh, complex because, uh, for example, when you well, the last time I was I was uh, watching, I don't remember the name in English. Alerta Aeropuerto. I don't know how that's in English. I mean, yeah, yeah I, I believe, so, and yeah, I, I know which one is it. You know, uh, they show a specific uh, stressful problems, and I remember, I remember that in other uh, travel, I was preocupada, uh, uh, worried, right? Worried, yeah. Because um, I was traveling in Europe, and uh. After, no, before to count El Salvador, I have to uh, did a short stop in Colombia. Mm -hmm. The thing is that, you know, Colombia is a difficult country for uh, drugs. And I remember that I was traveling from uh, Países Bajos, Amsterdam. Okay. Netherlands. Netherlands, yeah. Netherlands, thank you. And I worried because uh, you, well, you can imagine that in that country uh, they don't have a lot of restrictions. So my clothes has a smell very, very hard to, I, I don't know, a lot extraño. Weird. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you were in the discotheque. Uh -huh. No, in the street. <laughs> Believe okay. me, in the street. It's very, very, uh, I don't know, impact because uh, you can uh, see in the street someone with a beard, but the rest of the people has a um, cigarette. Yeah. In a I specific, know. yeah. In a specific, uh, um, but the, about the specific material, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's why I was worried because all my clothes smell very, very hard. <laughs> and uh, that was uh, too, too close of me. And I was uh, sudando. How do you say sudando? Sweating. Certainly. Yeah. And it was. Uh, another uh, stressful situation because uh, he the dog uh, start to smell all my my pants and the official told me that I need to uh, he dark, uh, take, take off, off. Uh -huh. take off take off my my bath and I was trying to uh, be friendly. <laughs> Without show my uh, real uh, uh, feelings, but it was stressful because I remember that when I was uh, watching Alerta Aeropuerto, they show some uh, caps, okay? See, ¿Sí? episodios? Uh, uh, chapters, uh huh? Chapters uh, with a little uh, situation like that. And it, it it was a big problem because uh, the the thing is that the guys in the chap in the chapter has um candies and product with a specific topping, you know. But in my case, I I didn't have. But I was worried because my clothes has a, has that smell. <laughs> and then the dogs finished to review my clothes, my everything, and I can go. But 
it was very uh, stressful because uh, the program create a prototype in my mind in that time. And I was worried. Ah, so you are the one who appears in the episode 65 in Alerta <laughs> Airport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that happens. That happens. I mean, uh, also, you know, when I, I was, I used to work for a bank. I remember that we used to go uh, very often to Colombia. Mm -hmm, I used mm -hmm. to go maybe two or three times a year, but my boss, he used to go maybe once a month. And he says that uh, one time he was going there and he was coming back. He came to El Salvador and he um, was in the airport. They, he made the check in and he was coming. And he always used to come by bus. So he took the bus with the bag and everything. And suddenly the police, they stopped the bus and they get him out of the bus and they start looking at everything and they started asking questions like, why do you um, go very often to Colombia? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. and they try mm -hmm. to open yeah. the I mean, and he was like, man, I, I, I'm working. I work in a bank and we have to go there for meetings and things like that. It was crazy. So, yeah, I imagine. So, but those, again, are, are stereotypes. Like, you, mm -hmm. in my, in my, you don't do anything. It's just for you to go to one country. And then yeah. everybody's like, mm, this is strange, right? So, mm -hmm. something is going on here. <laughs> Yeah, very good. Any any other comment about stereotypes or any other insight? Well, actually, we have those kind of stereotypes here in El Salvador, right? I mean, one of the most common is that they believe that if you are from San Miguel, you speak with <laughs> with the J. Exactly. So that is like that one, right? So they there are memes. People they really believe that one. And actually, if you go to San Miguel, you will see that maybe some people speak like that, but not everybody, right? To, to, San, <laughs> to San Miguel. Exactly <laughs> like that one. Right? <laughs> so uh, what other stereotypes do we have here in El Salvador that you remember? Uh, maybe um, people from Charlotte that all uh, that uh, most of people they think that they are uh, chalice like pale okay yeah or ki kind of pale okay and green eyes or blue eyes or something like that but <laughs> in my case I know uh, a couple of people from Chalate that are uh, more moreno i don't know if it's tan yeah tan or brunette ah, okay brunette uh, and and they they go out from this stereotype <laughs> so that is true they believe that in chalate is like being in in netherlands right because netherlands. everybody is like uh -huh. blonde and things like that one <laughs> That is another stereotype. Very good. Any other that you might remember or that you know about? Not only from El Salvador, but from anywhere around the world. Yeah. Uh, um, here in, in our country, uh, for the last month, uh, most of security corps, they believe that if you have a tattoo, you are uh, mean people, okay? Uh, and and that and this is one of the um, uh, los últimos, the latest, the latest, uh -huh, the, latest. Uh -huh. the latest stereotypes that have been settled. That is true. I mean, nowadays, I mean, with everything that is happening in the country, I mean, if you have tattoos, you need to be kind of careful, right? And mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, I mean, if you don't hide anything, the problem is that you are in the middle of questions. Why? Where are you going? What do you do? What do you have tattoos and things like that? One, right? And I'm, I mean, there are a lot of people that they have tattoos and they are not part of any organization, right? But is uh, the police job to research and whenever they see 
some people with tattoo is like, mm, okay, let me ask you a few questions more, right? Yes. Good. That is another stereotype. There are many, for example, uh, if you see the internet, uh, Facebook or anything like that, you will see that there are stereotypes from people de depending on the university where you study. I mean, mm -hmm. if you are studying in the national or if you study in a private or in evangelica or you are like this, those yeah. are also stereotypes, right? So there are many. What other stereotype do you remember or do you know about? Maybe when you are in uh, in a play, public place and you are uh, watching around or seeing around and you uh, maybe uh, see a guy with a black clothes and I don't know, with the long hair, well, in the in the, in in my case, I feel like a little uh, fear. Yes, yeah, scared. Yeah. Scared. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. And maybe uh, that's why uh, we are. Well, in my case, I always try to be uh, expect to my environment because I think that a guy that always are seeing me, for example, or behind me is a dangerous person. And I think that is a stereotype, but uh, it's not como que no es correcto siempre, pero a veces sí es bueno. Okay. I don't know. It's, it's bad when you create that type of stereotype, but you always try to be safe. So, yeah. I, in my case, like a girl is very different in that in that case. So when I was thinking in the in the night, uh, I was uh, trying to be carefully with some uh, specific. Uh, I don't know persons okay. because they look a little weird in the night maybe yeah actually that is something that happens I mean sometimes uh, when you see a group of men that are kind of strange mm -hmm. it's like oh my goodness something's going mm -hmm. to happen right uh, even in, in the bus when you are in the bus in San Salvador sometimes you see a group and a lot of people get off the bus right and say goodbye my friend i'm gonna take the other one because mm -hmm. this is not for me and there is the other way around i mean you are right sometimes they are bad people but sometimes it's a stereotype i remember when i was at the university i used to wear i mean i really like uh, rock and roll music and i used to wear black clothes and i used to have the long hair and that is true. I mean, I remember that I was walking on the street and sometimes mm -hmm. there in, ahead of me, there was an old woman and she was like afraid and she grabbed mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. pures and she and she started walking faster. I mean, mm -hmm. that happens. I, I was not dangerous, but they have the, the conception, right? Mm -hmm. like that. I mean, yeah, and I, I, it was very funny because I was, I was mean. What I did is that if, if the if the person started walking fast, I was walking faster. And if they crossed to the other to the other street, I crossed to the other street and I was behind. But it was just funny for me, right? So it was it was not good <laughs> anyways, but it was because of the stereotype, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that happens, that happens. And uh, we do that one. So that is very interesting. That is probably what we're going to check after we check the attendance. Okay, so am I in one hour already? So let's check the attendance and then we're going to continue. So Ada, Susana Cáceres, Mendoza. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Good, gotcha. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. 
Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present vision. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Teacher. Good. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present, teacher. Good, perfect. So let's continue. It's interesting, this. So... Uh, let me just check here. So I have another question for you. Um, why, I mean, everybody, everybody creates a stereotypes, like the one that you say, when you see some people that mean, uh, that look like dangerous, you try to avoid these people. So why do we create those stereotypes? Maybe uh, because uh, you have a idea when you uh, maybe when you was uh, watching the notice in the TV and they always uh, the bad guys, for example, they always has a tattoo and wear clothes like that or I don't know maybe it's part of the stereotype. And always you are uh, feeling that imagine in your mind. And well, just say that uh, when you was uh, study at the university, uh, were uh, usually uh, you usually were uh, clothes like that. And I, my, I have a, I had a friends like you because uh, the. The guy always love uh, wear black cloth and has uh, the hair long hair, and then uh, get some ta ta tattoos. And I, I know that he was friendly and he was my friend, and maybe he can hurt me or I don't know. No. But uh, I think that when you are uh, feeling that um, uh, thoughts, pensamientos, thoughts, mm -hmm. thoughts and maybe um, the TV programs are not a good idea because uh, always they are showing bad notice and some uh, bad person in the movies for example and that's why you are uh, always with that type of, of imagine well in my case i'm talking about that that guy is right okay yeah very good actually you're right yeah media is something that creates a lot of stereotypes like for example um if you see the movies in most of the movies blonde beautiful girls are like not very intelligent right mm -hmm. that, is, that is not true i mean that you are beautiful and blonde doesn't mean that you are not intelligent um mm -hmm. also as you say in the movie sometimes uh, the gangsters are mexican tattoo with people uh, i mean it's not always like that one right and i mean the american people they are always the heroes the ones that save the planet and that is not always true. So there are many stereotypes that come from the media, not only from the movies and TV shows, but also from nowadays from uh, Instagram and many other things that impact our lives, right? So that is something that is going on. Question yeah. for you. Have you ever been stereotyped? Have you ever been labeled? Anybody? Anybody? 
have you ever felt that people say or believe that you are in one way or another way just because of something that you did or class you were or anything like that? Well, in my case, uh, I think that um, the person created a stereotype about me because uh, always I try to talk um, a little or if enough, but I don't uh, talk a lot when I can, when I don't have a lot of uh, trust, confidence, right? Trust, uh -huh. Uh -huh. And maybe um, my faith is a little hard, rude, maybe. Okay. And that's why the rest of the people, when they don't um, talk with me, maybe they think that I I am, a, I don't know, maybe a angry person or... A, Too serious. A, Serious, very serious. Yeah, but when I have a little trust and I try to talk with the person, the things change, you know. But in the first time, I think that in general, this the person create that stereotype about me. It's a uh, maybe it's like um um. It's como un rasgo familiar. <laughs> So it's a familiar hereditary Sorry? thing. It's like familiar hereditary, something like that. Yes, something like that. So I, it's, it's weird, but it's okay. It's uh, okay because when you don't have a lot of uh, topic to talk with someone, you can save time. Okay. Yeah, that is true. Sometimes you are a stereotype because the way that you look, right? Everybody's like, oh, that person is like this. and mm -hmm. But they don't know you. I mean, that, that happens a lot. Yes. Uh, I, <laughs> I have been a stereotype uh, okay. because uh, the place where I came from, <laughs> I came from San Ah, okay. People say, oh, you, you eat pupusas with mayo. <laughs> and that's one of the, uh, of the things, the such uh, black such uh, ketchup and other kind of things, but it's not true at all. Uh, <laughs> no, we, we don't eat all, all the people from here to eat the pupusas like that. But uh, mostly, and another thing is like, or oh, you, why you don't talk with J, <laughs> with the letter J? <laughs> and, you know, all the people from San Miguel talk like that. Like, I don't know why. So the develop of the of the city, they say, oh, you you. You travel with the horse, of the horse, or or you or you you brought a chicken, something like that. I I don't know, but something like that. <laughs> okay, People yeah. From the from the southern, from another part. Very good. So, yeah, definitely, as we were saying, those are kind of stereotypes, right, that are very common here in our country that they believe. Uh, well, because you are from that city or that part of the country, you are like this, but that is not true. Maybe, I mean, I mean uh, nowadays I know that that is a very common stereotype, but maybe uh, nobody speaks like that anymore. I mean, maybe... A lot of years, maybe some people, not everybody used to talk like that, but I believe that nowadays uh, nobody do that. So any other person that wants to share if you were stereotyped? Nobody else's. 
Okay, let's talk about something else. What is ethnicity? It's related to the culture of the people. Okay, to the culture and... Uh -huh. To the culture and it's related to the... The, the country or the region that they are they are and like Indian people like uh, Japanese people like African people and they they have their ethnicity their ethnicity and also uh, Latin American people we are our own ethnicity that is true. I mean, ethnicity is like when you see somebody and because of some um, some characteristics that they have physical, you you believe that that person is one or another. I mean, they are they have some characteristics and you know that they are from. Another. So, and uh, well, I have a question but for you. Go ahead. I I um, I I think. Uh, the Japanese people are the only that they are they don't have a bad stereotype. They are a very good, very good stereotype. Stereotype, I think. Uh, I I never I have never heard uh, someone that say the Japanese are bad. The Japanese are that no. Oh, just. Uh, very good things. <laughs> Let's speak about ethnicity and stereotypes then. So what are some stereotypes from Japanese people, let's say? Everybody. Some stereotypes for Japanese people. Mm, for example, they are um, very well skilled to work with electronic devices. Very good in technology. Yeah, that is true. So AI yeah, very smart. Very smart. Very good. What other things? Yeah, Japanese people eat sushi every day. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe. That is like a stereotype, right? So they we believe that they eat either sushi or ramen, right? That is the most common. <laughs> they eat a lot of things. <laughs> Actually, they eat a lot of things, yeah. Maybe not beans, but some other things. <laughs> what other stereotype do you remember about Japanese people? Mm, for example, uh, they all the time are prepared for earthquakes. That is true. There are a lot of earthquakes. They, but the good thing is that they are ready for that one. They're buildings. They have alerts. They know what to do. They have some uh, rehearsals on what to do. So it's very good. It's, that is very nice. In El Salvador also, there are a lot of a lot of tremors and earthquakes, but we are like, oh, it's, it's, uh, there is an earthquake, okay? So, okay, let's move on, right? That's what we do here. But there, because, I mean, the earthquakes are very, very strong. They are ready for that one. Good. Any other stereotype from Japan? They can fight or something like that. They, they are the, the, the martial art. They are very good with. That is actually another one that we believe that because you're from Japan, you know at least something from anything that is martial arts, right? So, <laughs> any negative stereotype from Japan that you have heard? Maybe the only thing that I sometimes have seen is that sometimes they are they eat kind of strange things for us, of course. So that's the only thing. But other than that, of course they have gangsters like Yakuza, they say and things like that. But oh, yeah. the it's something that they keep for themselves, right? It's very the, the mafia. 
Exactly. So, yeah, there are people like that there, but I mean, maybe it's not like the movies. Maybe it's kind of different, but exists some some things like that. Let's speak about other uh, ethnicity. Let's speak about uh, European people. What are some stereotypes that we have for European people? Maybe from people who lives uh, like uh, I don't know exactly what countries, but uh, uh, no, it's not Portugal. It's like Russia or something like that. Uh, in in Europe, there are people who uh, talks about talks about a uh, this. Uh, these people that I was that, that I'm talking about, like uh, gitanos, I don't know how to say in uh, English. Gypsy. 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 Uh -huh. they, they are gypsy, and gypsy are a, a kind of mean people or a trickers, como estafadores, engañadores. Yeah, like thieves. Mm -hmm. Uh Yeah, actually, I, I, uh -huh. go ahead. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. That that was I was talking about. Yeah, actually, gypsy, I mean, uh, people from Europe, they don't like gypsies, right? And gypsies are people that are not settled down. They are mm -hmm. moving mm -hmm. across Europe and uh, they have, yeah, a bad, a bad, like, fame that they are not good people, that they want to get your money, right? So that is true. That is a stereotype. Very good. Any other stereotype from people in Europe? I think people, people think that people, all the people in Europe are very polite and are very educated, well educated, but that's not true. That is not true. That is, I mean, it's the same. I mean, uh, we have angry people here and we have angry people there, right? And uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, they are very, depending on the country, as I believe Roxana we were, was saying yesterday, uh, there are some people like the English people, uh, German people, uh, that they are very cold. I mean, they they don't want to talk with you. If you you get introduced with an, a British person. Uh, they say hello. They don't shake hands. It's very rare. It's like, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And no physical contact. So, and uh, of course, there are questions that you can ask and questions that you cannot ask. That happens in uh, everywhere in the world, but they are more private. They are more like that one. So, yeah, they are polite sometimes, but not friendly. Maybe that's the thing. I have I have heard that uh, the English the uh, English people are very angry and troublemaker. <laughs> yeah, depending on where you are. I mean, if you are in Liverpool, a lot of people they like to fight there, so yeah. it's, <laughs> it's it's not yeah. good to go to a bar there and and yeah. get somebody angry. So it's not good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, good. Those are stereotypes. Any other stereotypes from people in Europe? Uh, people in Europe, uh, I think um, um, people in Europe, not from Spain, uh, don't know how much about any other country like Latin America or um, Africa. They only focus on their own sphere, their own country. So if, for example, if we ask for, we ask any of them for like, any question like, oh, do you know where to play this country or do you know the capital of this country? Or do you know about this country? They don't know the answer. So they only uh, involve, they only focus on their own country, their own sphere. That is so true. They don't get much information. I mean, maybe sometime they heard the country, but they are not so involved in those in this kind of country like Central America, 
maybe a little bit more in Africa because it's closer with them. But yeah, yeah they are not so involved in the culture and things like that. Some people, they are very interested, uh, but not everybody, definitely. So the people that they are happy there, they don't care about that. Any other? Any negative stereotype from Europe? Well, for me, Europe uh, person are to um, roots because uh, the way that they always are uh, talking with you is so hard. So it's maybe uh, some people here try to be clear with some uh, topics, with some, I don't know, uh, instructions, but they um, has a strong voice. So that's why I think that they are a lot um, rude because in resume, they uh, always try to don't spend time talking with another person that they can uh, speak their own language. And always uh, they are, if you have a little of, of look, looky, maybe you can uh, talk with someone mm, a little, with uh, a little, um, I don't know. Maybe you, you, if you have a little of, of looking, you can uh, find a polite ear person. But the rest, in general, they are always um, talking with, um, como molestos, como like angry. Yeah. Oh, angry. Yeah. 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 They are kind of rude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. When you speak with them, I mean, in a normal way, uh, they're like, yeah, no, yes, I don't want. They are very straight. That is something that they have. So if you say, uh, would you like a cup of coffee? No. And you feel like, <laughs> okay. I mean, here it's like, no, no, thank you. I, I It's not good for me. You you give a reason, right? Yeah. It's like, it's not good for me. Or if I drink coffee, I, I won't sleep at night. But they say like, no. Mm -hmm. And we are like, and oh. for example, when uh, you uh, talking with a British person, we are speaking English, but their English is so strong, maybe, and you create a stereotype that maybe the other person is mad, is hungry, or something like that. It's it's weird because it's, it's English, but I think that the the voice is uh, it's like um, mm, I don't know. It's a um, factor to uh, continue with the stereotype or finish that stereotype because uh, some people try to uh, talk in with another in. Um, Maybe in a, no sé, como, como, como suave, slow. Ah, okay. Yeah, but like the other soft. person, maybe they can talk like that. So uh, in, imagine if you are talking with your boss and you are a um, person that always try to give explanation or always, um, thinking in positive or maybe you are always uh, talking slow to try to explain and correct for, but your boss is more like a British person. You always uh, was thinking or are thinking that uh, they, uh, he or she is, um, Regañando, how do you say regañando? Nagging. Nagging. Yeah, you are always are thinking that they are nagging you. Yeah. And it's like, 
it's not like that. that you, you create a stereotype with exactly. a simple reason. That is it. It's because you compare uh, like the way that we are here in the way they are there, right? So you feel like strange. It's like, oh my goodness. And mm -hmm. you are right. They speak and they act also in a very rude way sometimes. So you believe, oh, uh, I he doesn't like me or anything like that one, right? But it's not true. It's like, that's the way they are. Mm -hmm. Very good. Perfect. And uh, what well, another thing that happens in Europe well let's talk about better uh, the American people there are some stereotypes for the American so tell me about those people from the United States that I think that maybe we, we think that all the American Americans are racist but not all the Americans are racist Okay, very good. Yeah, actually that happens. I mean, a lot of people that is racist, but also a lot of people in Europe is racist. So that happens. I believe in all the countries. I mean, here you see something very strange. It's like, well, look at that. And you look at that in the streets. So, and that is, is not good. Only doing that one is kind of racist sometimes. So, but yes, there are people in the US and there are people also in Europe that are racist a lot, but it's not the majority. The majority of people is like, okay, nice. I mean, it's like regular one. Good. Any other stereotype for the American people? I think from the from the black people there are many stereotypes. <laughs> yeah. One is like they don't like to work. They they are dangerous. They are criminals and like that. They are gangsters. From this kind of people, there are many, a lot of stereotypes. That is true. Uh, that is true. There are many stereotypes about black people in the U.S., mostly in the U.S. So that, yeah, that they don't like to work, that they are dangerous, that they want to steal your things. And yes, there are people like that, but also there are white people like that. So it's a, a very strong stereotype. And... Uh, Depending on the state where you are there in the U.S., it's going to be maybe kind of difficult uh, if you are a black person. But that is true. And they have a lot of stereotypes. And they have been fighting for that one for a long time. Uh, the problem is that they are always something happens. So. Any other? Um, for example, I think uh, the people in the United States consume... Uh, so much junk food they don't usually eat healthy food I think they find it more cheaper and uh, I don't know it's easier to just go to one place and ask for a hamburger or pizza instead of make a salad or eat an apple I don't know jogur that kind of food is not the Common food that the American people uh, have keep in, in their diet. So I think American people eat a lot of junk food. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I mean, it's a very common stereotype for American people. And I guess here in El Salvador also that happens a lot. I mean, not everybody and not all the time. But yeah, we like pupusas, we like pizza, we like hamburgers. Uh, soda a lot uh, so that is is happening and uh, in the u.s i mean that the impact of junk food is so so strong that obesity is a big problem nowadays anyway so it's a it's a stereotype definitely good 
if I ask, I mean, imagine that you are speaking with a person from other country. What stereotypes do you say we have here in El Salvador? What, how is the Salvadorian people in general? Workaholic. Workaholic, ah, I am workaholic to be honest with you. I work a lot, that's good. Any other? Mm, for example, I think here in the Salvador, the people are, when they face a uh, situation in which they need to change or make a big effort, they do it. But if they are not really pushed up or under pressure, they don't make an effort to to do a step, for example, a student, a course, and a stu uh, or um, apply for any position. I don't know. The people here in the software just were only under pressure. Okay, very good. Yeah, that is kind of a stereotype so that you have to to have somebody telling you, right? Hey, you need to do this. I'm checking that you're not doing this correctly. So yeah, I believe that that is a stereotype. Any other stereotype from people in El Salvador? No other? Another, another stereotype teacher. Oh, sorry. I don't know if anyone. Go, go ahead. Go ahead, please. Another stereotype that comes to my mind related with that one, I said it's that people in the suburb feel more comfortable when someone um, is in church or, yeah, is in church to tell, tell them what they have to do what is the next step they they feel more comfortable with that someone who is in chair to tell me what i have to do in any in any area and if any field very good very good perfect so yeah that might be another stereotype that i mean you need somebody to tell you what to do next so it's going to be you know american people are like that a lot they they always look for help and how to do things in an easier way or pay for services they're doing themselves. So that is true. I was thinking about something else. Um, Salvadorian people, we are very happy, right? Even when there are lots of problems here, very, very happy. I guess uh, I was reading, I don't remember, it was like two years ago. And also I read that sometimes uh, as statistics that it says that the most, the happiest people in the world are Latin American people. And here El Salvador, Mexico, are countries that are in, in a high level of happiness. So it's very curious because if you compare, we were speaking, for example, here that uh, we would like to go and work and live in Canada, right? Or go to Europe and any other countries. People in other countries, they have better opportunities, they have more money, they have many other things, but they are not that happy as we are here in El Salvador. That is very interesting. What do you think about that? Hello. Maybe we we can be happy uh, more easily <laughs> with being uh, very simple things. Okay. Yeah, maybe with coffee and bread, and you're happy, right? You're. <laughs> yeah, been... yeah, yeah. Yeah, if, if, if someone offer you 
hey, do you want a cup of coffee and <laughs> a piece of bread, a sweet bread? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. you are happy that's the right, that right moment. <laughs> yeah, that's the way that we are here. I mean, if you see this is linked to other stereotypes, for example, we say that people in Europe, they are serious and they are not that friendly. So maybe if you offer them, would you like a cup of coffee? It's like, no. So the next time you don't offer anything, right? And that's why they are not that happy. But here, we're very friendly. You go and help, you go and talk with people, you laugh a lot, you do a lot of jokes, and you're happy at the end of the day. It comes to my mind something that uh, the Salvadorian also are um, very um, reporters between us. Uh, I don't know how to say we offer help to another very easy. That is true. I mean, if you have a friend that had a problem and they call you, hey, you have a problem with my car, you say, I'm on my way right now, right? Where are you? And if you go there and you fix the problem, then you go and it proposes on the way back home. So it's a lot of things. It's not just the way that you help people, but there are many things that you can do. And uh, that is very curious. I mean, um, speaking about statistics, I don't know if we mentioned that one before, but in Sweden, for example, is one of the countries that they have more income per capita. They have a lot of things. Health is uh, for free. And they have the highest rate of suicide in the country. I mean, Sweden is a very wonderful country. And uh, here, we are very happy. So that is very curious. It's something interesting here. Very good. Speaking about ethnicity also, there is another question that I want to ask you. You see that if you go to Guatemala, if you go to Honduras, uh, Panama, there are a lot of black people. I'm not speaking about Latin black, but I'm speaking about black like the people that are in, uh, in the U.S., black people, right? But here in El Salvador, we don't have black people. The only black people that we see on the street are people that come from other countries. Why do you believe that is here in El Salvador? Because well, a president, <laughs> they, they uh, how can I say, they uh, uh, They took them off. Yeah, took them out. Took them out. Yeah. <laughs> Sanchez Hernandez. Yeah, that is true. Do you remember which president was that? I'm sorry? Fidel Sanchez Hernandez, I think. Okay, Hernandez. Yeah, I remember was Hernandez. So that is true. Do you know that that's why here in El Salvador we don't have uh, black people, like population of black people, because that president at that time, he created a decree and he said, all black people, they have to go out of the country. Goodbye. See you later. We don't want black people here. Imagine that. So that's why we don't have population of black people. Maybe in the future we're going to have, but nowadays. Imagine what what will be the impact in society on all the countries if that happens in in any country right now? I mean, black people move away. Maybe it's a big problem, right? So that is kind of interesting. Okay, and uh, another question for you. What is misconception? Can you please look at the dictionary there and tell me what is misconception? Maybe a, a wrong idea about a topic, in this case, about a, a, a specific ethnic or maybe a specific uh, group of people like African people or European people or Latin American people. Uh, for example, uh, all Latin American Latin Americans are uh, lazy people, but uh, 
when you know these people, you are or you are aware that that uh, that uh, this conception was uh, was wrong or this idea was wrong, and you uh, get the the right one, uh, and you and you think uh, no, all Latin American uh, are workers are happy or uh, something like that, but not the the initial conception or initial idea that you had about these people or about this ethnic or something like this. Uh, very good. Actually, that is a misconception. When you believe because of anything, uh, something that is not correct, right? So you have uh, an idea on that one. And it's very interesting, the examples that you say, I mean, uh, the ones that we say like stereotypes, like the one that Latin American are lazy, black people are dangerous, uh, gypsies are thieves. Those are misconceptions, right? Mm -hmm. And the interesting part is that that happens with everybody around the world. I mean, uh, American people believe about Latin American people that we are lazy. We, the Latin American people, believe that uh, American, they are too stubborn or things like that one. So we have stereotypes around the world based on misconceptions, right? Yes. And actually, I believe that this has happened to you. I mean, maybe you have a friend that when you become a very good friend, that friend tells to you, uh, when I met you, I didn't like you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Has that happened to you? Yeah, in my case with my friends, I, I thought the same. Uh, but after you know these people, you uh, you get another conception, okay? Because you, uh, uh, I don't know if the if what I will say is the right thing. You see the people with an with an eye or with a um an idea that you have in your mind but through the days or through the time that you are uh, knowing these people that idea is uh, transforming or maybe changing uh, from bad to good or uh, maybe from good to bad okay very good so that happens. I mean, that is so true. And it's one of the mo most common things that happens to everybody. I yes. mean, we sometimes speak with somebody and they say, I didn't like you when I, uh -huh. I met you. But now I know that you are a nice person. You're very friendly. You are so nice. But that happens. I mean, when you are in a place and somebody enters the door, sometimes you feel like, I don't like that person, right? And you don't know that person. Why you don't like? Maybe there are many things here in the mind of the human beings. And that happens for everybody around the world. Everybody experienced that before. Everybody had a misconception about people, about procedures, for example. When the boss says, we're going to change this procedure. And you are like, oh my goodness, but the one that we have is... It was very good, was working very fine. I don't want to learn another thing. So misconceptions are always there. So why do you believe that all human beings are like that, that we have misconceptions? Mm. We could talk about uh, that uh, a stereotype, okay, or a kind of conception. It's it comes from uh, maybe from a behavior who was a, in past years, not not recently. A, but only through the years uh, and these kind of conceptions or ideas i think there are 
pass generation after generation uh, are uh, they, they are heredados hereditary hereditary and you are trying to no you you have this conception about a, a some ethnic some group some people uh, i i think it's it's for this uh, it's um in in here in Latin America, I think we are uh, I don't know how to say in English very criticones criticizing uh -huh, criticizing and um if you uh, if you are in a place and another uh, person is coming uh, or is entering to the to the place uh you passed the scan from the head to the to the feet and vice vice versa. Vice versa. Uh, uh -huh. And you start to criticize uh, about the the way that they are uh, about the 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 clothes that they wear, about the tattoos, about the the hair, about something something or anything that you see uh, in the people but those uh, behaviors in, 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 in people are uh, heredados <laughs> hereditary no hereditary hereditaries and i think we have to break these kind of, of behaviors because uh, in order to live in peace or trying to live in peace, uh, we have to break this kind of social rules or social behaviors. Uh, it's not correctly that, or is not correct that uh, you uh, criticize a people just for the way they, they look, but uh, but do for the way they do with you or for the way they, that uh, they behave with other people. But it's a, a very, como un comportamiento bien marcado. I don't know how to say this. Uh, yes, it's a, a behavior that is kind of uh, a part of you. It's something that is uh, very in, insightful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's that's why one of the several ideas that I I think it was. That is true, and uh, actually you are very uh, very true. I mean, so I I used to have a friend, you know, he was from the Netherlands. He uh, sometimes we were speaking about races and uh, how Europeans are racist with Latin America or black people. Uh, it is very, very difficult. I mean, there are people that are racist and you cannot change their mind. And but right he was, yeah. Right yeah. But he was telling me, you know, what I have seen is that here in El Salvador, you are one of the most racist countries that I have visited. And I say, How come? I mean, we are the same here. No, but he says, You make jokes of, of everybody. I mean, if if a fat boy comes, you say, I've been El Sapo. If, uh, <laughs> yeah, if yeah, a, yeah. a thin boy comes, he says, El Quiebra Palito. So you say jokes about every everybody. And it's something that is accepted. I mean, it's accepted, but sometimes might be offensive, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, Latin American people, we are a lot of, we criticize a lot. That is so true. We are... Uh, we always are thinking, we always are making jokes. And uh, sometimes, I mean, I, I believe that uh, when you grow up uh, and you are at work, sometimes you make jokes, but with respect. But when you were a kid, if you remember, I mean, we, we used to say many things and maybe feel, maybe we make feel bad other people. Mm -hmm. So that happens. I, I have seen some, some things. For example, uh, when you uh, look at the news in 
noticieros. I don't know how to say. Uh, are the news, you say. You can say the news. Okay. Uh, and they are uh, taking pictures or taking a video from a, a supermarket. People get to that places uh, wherever they want uh, or whatever the the uh, no matter the the clothes that they are wearing okay uh, they are in chancletas or flip flops uh, they are in shorts or uh, t-shirts or I don't know how to say it, los centros los que solo son como I oh that is an a shirt okay an a shirt but in our country, uh, if you go to the mini market in your neighborhood, you <laughs> you you have to uh, wear your shoes and say uh, and put your uh, your shirt and maybe a jeans or something like that in order to this in order to avoid the criticize of, of the other people because we are very uh, focused on what the other people will talk about myself or, or about me and not only live my life and whatever and, and the other things are uh, um, so, son lo demás, o sea, no, no matter the other things, okay? And, and I think this is uh, the opposite in, in, in the United States. They focused on live your own lives and not live the lives that, uh, that may, maybe the, that your neighbor, okay? Okay. Yeah, actually, that is so true. Uh, yeah, and those all those stereotypes are linked, as we as you said. I mean, in Europe, they don't care, right? They mm -hmm. are, they are, may might feel rude when they are speaking with you, but they live by themselves, so they don't care about any other thing. On the other hand, here in El Salvador, we are friendly, and since yeah. we are friendly and we have a lot of friends, we really care about what other people think about us. So. Yeah. Something simple, as you say, I mean, if you go to the store there to buy soda and that's it, right? Uh, you are not going to go like in the way that you are there watching TV. You wear something different and you take something and you go there. So that happens. That happens. So it's, uh, and it's also because of that one, because we criticize a lot, yeah. right? Uh, in Latin America, and it's not only in Salvador, but in Latin America, if you see, for example, the shows, uh, from Mexico, the comedy shows, they are based on jokes about other people. You look yeah. like this, you are like this, uh, you're stupid, you are like... So those are the kinds of things that we do here in Latin America. So that's why for us it's very important the way that other people look at us. So they they respect, They uh, we are not part of funny jokes and things. It's interesting how this is connected, right? Yeah. Very good, very good. Okay, so we have spoken about many things, misconceptions, about stereotypes, and uh, we are moving on to other topics that we will discuss in later on. So uh, anybody else that wants to share something about stereotypes, misconceptions, or any experience that you have had regarding stereotypes or that you have seen with other people? So at the end, diversity is very important, right? So you see that we are different. Even when we are in the same country, uh, we are different, but and we are unique. Do you remember the video that we saw yes. yesterday? Yes, yes. We are unique. Uh, Where we, all of us are different, but uh, at the end, like, uh, I think, I, 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 didn't, I don't remember. Uh, who say that yesterday, but we're different, but at the end, we are human beings. 
okay? Uh, and if, if we don't try to care about each other in the good way, uh, the world maybe could be uh, more, I don't know if this is correct, more broken or more separate uh, and not more, uh, como más juntos todos. Yeah, more together. Uh -huh. Yeah, actually, uh, I was thinking right now that you were saying that. Have you seen that now it's very common to see in the news that two people are fighting on the street because of the parking, because of a car accident? Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's because of that one, because we are, we do not respect, we are not tolerant, we do not accept that the other people are different, right? And uh, I mean, fighting on I, I mind that one i mean fighting on the street because you took my place i mean that is that is kind of not good right but that is happening uh, yeah. it's happening because we don't have this one we believe that our feelings or the things or the way that we see the world is the the correct one but sometimes we need to see the other the points of view right yes very good any other comment before we finish? Remember that we are here to practice, so you can provide any comment or any opinion, feedback. You can see that this uh, this level is different than the other one. We are going to do readings, but not that many. Here is more talking, right? Mm. Once I went to uh, Trinidad y Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago Island, a and it was a uh, kind of weird because uh, there were Latin American people and obviously his race is black. Okay? They, they, they are black. But uh, we were several Latin Americans, but they there were two Chinese people. So all black people pass a... Uh, without problems, uh, Latin American people pass without problems, but with Chinese people was were, was like that. Uh, okay, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, how, how long will you stay here? Uh, what is the, the motive of, of your visit? Are you because enjoy or, or, or business or what? But it was a, I interview kind of uh, uh, incomodable. Uncomfortable. Uh, kind of uncor un un uncomfortable. Uh, what? Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable to to the people because they went or uh, they went there because uh, they were for business and they have they have all the credentials, uh, the invitations, and all, all the things related to the visit, but uh, they were uh, very uh, strong with, the, with all the controls, with, with all the migratory controls with them, not with other people, just with them. Because I think they look different and maybe <laughs> they are not so common to visit uh, that country. That is true. I mean, uh, that happens. And you know, the sad part is that sometimes um, other people tell you the stereotype. I mean, for example, in that kind of situation, sometimes the officers in the trainings, they are told, be careful with black people or be careful with people that come from these countries because they are dangerous because of this. I mean, those are stereotypes, right? Mm -hmm. which are not good at all. Very good. Perfect. Do you have any questions before we finish the class of today? Mm, not for me. I think I'm okay. Good, good. So tomorrow we will continue speaking about other things related to this one. Let's check the attendance and then let's go to bed. So Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. 
Danny Josue Garcia Martinez. Present. For you is the 101 today, Danny. Okay. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Present, teacher. Good. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Perfect. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow and dream in English. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Okay, hello, Danny. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. I'm a little tired. Oh, yeah. It's Wednesday. Two more days and we finish this thing. <laughs> okay. It's very good to see you again in this course. So, and uh, we waited a little bit, right? So sometimes it's very fast, but yeah, yeah. I, 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 I feel like well, maybe <laughs> we, we, we don't going to continue without the, the time. Yeah. Yeah, the good thing is that at the end we're here. Yeah, a long time, but we are back. Sometimes what happens is that in the middle of the the year, INSA Forb has a like a breakdown, so they have to approve the rest of the year and things. That sometimes I believe that that's what happened here in this in this uh, break. Uh, let's hope the other one is going to be a little bit faster. The the okay. the course and the good thing is that you almost so, finished. Okay. How many mod modules are left? Well, the advance is six, six models. So you are in the second one. There are left okay. four more. <laughs> okay. So, but four more is, is kind of good. Uh, if you continue with this rhythm, maybe you will be finished. Let me think. Uh, October, November, December, around February. February. Uh, Something like that February. you will be finishing. So that is good. Yeah. And uh, I was uh, going to ask you, I forgot to ask to all the class, um, have you received the diplomas then at work from this one? From the intermediate and all the others, you haven't received any? No, no. any. I'm, I'm going to ask because you should, you should be receiving. Sometimes it takes a while, it's a forp. Sometimes it takes three, six months for you to receive that one, but you should be receiving that one. Okay, and yeah. the diploma, uh, they, they deliver it in the, the, the work, the work. At work, yeah. At work, at work. Yeah, okay. that should be like that. Anyways, I'm going to research and check what's going on. Then. 
good, perfect. So um, I was wondering, we haven't checked a lot of grammar this course, but I was wondering if you have any questions, not from this course only, but also for any other thing. No, no. Um, the only thing I I have noticed that the platform has <laughs> sometimes has a very very uh, mistakes with the with the with the homeworks. and so just just that um. No, another, another, I don't, I don't have any question. This, this, uh, this course, as you said before, is a kind of different, right? Uh, we, we don't have almost nothing <laughs> like the, the previous one. We are talking a lot, a lot of things and it, that's okay because um because we we don't in in my case I don't speak so um, so frequently because my job because I, think, I don't know that's very good very good yeah I'm I'm trying to change some things of course we're gonna read um my planning is to read twice a week. And then the other three days to speak, to provide insights, or for you to do a little presentation about some topics. So that's what we're going to do. So we have the chance to speak. And of course, the little grammar that we will be checking. Uh, regarding the platform, uh, which mistakes have you seen by now? Um, the first one, uh, exercise. I think uh, there, there is two two exercise in the same in the same line I think it's number four and number five I think I see it. it's like one next to the other <laughs> I okay. think number four and then five and ten <laughs> and the 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 option are just for one of them <laughs> okay Okay, I'm going to report that one. I'm going to check into that one and I will report so we can improve the platform. Yeah. Uh, just like, like, the, uh, I don't know if this is going to be in another, in another model, but uh, with the grammar or something like, if we're going to, practice a great greeting something like that or or, or make some and yeah essays actually essays are very important and yes uh, as i remember you will be checking that one maybe in the advanced uh four or five something like that so okay. uh, the bad thing about that one is that you are going to have some homeworks, right? That you have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but uh, uh, personally, I, 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 be, I, I am very interested in that kind of things. I want to learn to write. For example, my resume <laughs> or. Um, maybe uh, very simple like an email or I don't know something like that. Okay. That you you do something in that you'll be able to to work and just like email. Yeah, that is so true. I remember that about SIS is going to be around four or five, right? the module four or five. And um, yeah, we can we can check into other things. We can try to see about emails and things like that. I'm going to check the topics that we have 
in this model to see if we are able to introduce something like that, okay? Yeah, but I don't have any questions. Okay, perfect. So my friend, it was a pleasure to see you again. I hope you have a very good night rest because I know that you are very tired and see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, good night. Yes,